Welcome to this short video on the Trader Dashboard in Classic TWS. The Real-Time Trader Dashboard is an optional tool that can be displayed at the top of Classic TWS tab set. This customizable panel allows you to monitor data fields from your account window, keep abreast of the most recent activity for specific contracts, and view current real-time news headlines for products in your portfolio and for any tickers you are watching. To view the Trader Dashboard, just click the View menu and select Trader Dashboard. To configure, click the wrench icon on the far right of the dashboard or just right click anywhere in the dashboard area and select configure. This action will take you to the global configuration pop-up. You'll see the trader dashboard highlighted in blue in the informational tools section in the left hand sided menu. Use the check boxes in the right pane to set the following. Check show news to display news headlines for any products in your portfolio and to alert you to recent news on any tickers you elect to display. To see only portfolio relevant news, check display news for products and portfolio only. Click here to display major news and next see the display recent news indicator. If checked, this will display a recent news mini icon in the upper right corner of the product name in the dashboard. Check show price change in percentage to view the last price and price change values as percentages in the dashboard. Check show price change in value to view the last price change as an absolute value. Click the add account data button and and scroll down the list. Double click each account field that you want to add to the dashboard. Each field you double click is added to the display list on the configuration pane. Click the show all fields checkbox at the bottom to see additional fields. Then click OK. To add a last price and price change field for an instrument, enter the underline in the symbol field and click add ticker. Then define the parameters just as you do when you add market data to the trading page. Click move up or move down to rearrange the placement of the field. Fields. Click an item and select delete to remove it from the list. And when done, click apply and OK. You'll see the last price and price change displays in red to indicate downward movement and green to indicate upward movement. You can modify the names of the fields in the dashboard to make them shorter. For example, you may want to shorten net liquidation value to net lick. To customize an attribute label, highlight the label you want to modify from the display list. Click the change label button to the right of the table. In the custom label box, uncheck the use default label selection and then just enter a new name for your attribute in the label field and click OK. The new labels are listed in the label column of the display item table. Then just click apply and OK. Click the mini icon next to the ticker in the dashboard to view the most recent headlines. If you want to quickly adjust the dashboard, just right click and configure, rename or remove items. You can also change the prices to display percentage or value. To remove the dashboard entirely, click the X on the far right or access the view menu and just toggle off the trader dashboard. 